Radio. Uh, welcome back. 23 minutes past four on the day that Boris Johnson apparently is facing his own personal Armageddon. A resigning uh, situation, everybody says. We've done a poll. Uh, 80 plus percent of you saying it's time he went. Today's political panel, Alfie Sterling, chief economist at the New Economics Foundation. Welcome to Talk Drive. Good afternoon. And Alice Watson Brown, political commentator with Young Voices UK. We don't have too much time. I'll start with you, Alice. Uh, should he resign? Is enough enough? What's happening? It's not good. He should have resigned ages ago. He should have resigned after the first report of the party came out. And I think in this instance, the possibility of him resigning is more viable because he doesn't have the political currency of the booster to fall back on to make his position seem more tenable. Uh, but the, the problem is that a lot of people are sceptical about him resigning because there seems to be no viable option of someone who was going to come in and repair the damage of trust that has occurred through this new party. I mean, the one thing I will say is that at least it was bring your own booze rather than the government spending taxpayers' money on the booze to uh, feed the party. But at the end of the day, I mean, my opinion is still stands that he shouldn't be in office anyway. Uh, Alfie, for me, um, and this is an anonymous text, this sums it up. I've spoken already that I was annoyed from a personal point of view this morning. For the first time, I think I was thinking about my dad not being able to get out. This is an anonymous text we just received here. I buried my beloved mum, couldn't have a wake and had a limited funeral while well, they parted. Um, I, I think enough is enough. When you read stuff like that, and, and I've been quite vocal in my support of Boris Johnson's, I, I, I just, I can't, I can't believe that you can get this back. Can you? No, I mean, I agree with you, Jeremy and, and Alice. I understand as well, you know, the suffering that people went through as a result of rules that were there to protect all of us um, was really acute. It was real. It touched on millions of people's lives, all of our lives to some extent, and others to a greater degree, as you just referenced there, Jamie. And so, that, you know, the idea that you then had people flouting the rules, those people who, in fact, were making the rules, is intolerable. But I, but I would say, you know, it, it's also interesting that it's this that ends up being, you know, the, the thing that Boris might end up having to resign over. Because, you know, if you look at the last couple of years, it's not, there's no shortage of really quite important mistakes and costly errors that he's overseen. Like, for example, the mere fact that 130,000 people dying more over that period as a lot of the pandemic. And you compare that to other countries and the decisions they took, it didn't happen in those countries to that degree. Look at the economy, the worst performance in the G7. Um, in 2020, still catching up, again, down to decisions by this government failing to act quickly enough time and time again. So, you know, I think the the, the, the fact of um, the, you know, the mistrust and the disregard for other people with these parties is clearly serious and it's painful, but also there have been a, a catalogue of errors that this sits on top of. It's interesting. Um, I mean, real anger. And that's the vibe that one gets sitting here. Susanna Lewis, he actually sniggered when asked the question. Absolutely shocking. He should be ashamed of himself and needs to go along with his other corrupt cronies. Uh, Gary O'Neill should be arrested. Um, the thing the thing is, uh, Alice, um, people, once once they turn politics into a, how do I put this, into personal experience, you know, I missed a funeral. I couldn't see my father. I couldn't see my mother. I couldn't see my kids, as 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 Mike Graham was saying this morning. The minute that happens, right? I think the 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 turnaround is 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 difficult. A lot of people are blaming Carrie. A lot of people are saying she got him to get rid of Dominic Cummings. You know, she got him to go down the green route. But actually, I, I said just then today, both of you, I'd like the answer. To this, you must have known this was coming from Dominic Cummings. Dominic Cummings is a low life piece of rubbish, right? Personally, I don't. I'm, I haven't got a moment for him. But he's obviously got lots on him, hasn't he, Alice? I agree. He seems to be quite a valuable asset to people who uh, want excuses not to like Boris Johnson. Um, <laughs> I, I agree with you. I don't think Dominic Cummings is a very nice person or, you know, a good person. I think he was good for Brexit. Um, but I mean, it's just it does beg the reason why he decided to release it now. And I really resonate with you when you said that this is this is personal. I mean, mm. for me, the whole lockdown pandemic crisis has always been personal because people, uh, my, myself and people my age, we've lost so much, uh, you know, a year and a half of university education. It's always been that much just too torturous to even think about going back into full full lockdown as is was sort of dangled in front of us earlier this year um but yeah i think it has in insulted to a disgusting extent um 
the grace and the trust and the faith that people gave away their freedoms, not even for the yeah. government. This was in May 2020. So yeah. people were doing it really because they thought they were going to keep other people safe. Yep. Um, and it's just whilst the prime minister is the... having a wine party. Uh, Alfie, I'm up against yeah. it clockwise. And, and, and Alice, I appreciate that. This is interesting, though, for you to finish. Sarah in Leamington Spa, uh, your conversation, Jez, it's not the he's not the best. And I understand he's flawed, but we need to be really careful about what we wish for. What would you say to that, Alfie? Well, I think it's not hard to find a prime minister with you know, better decision making and greater sort of moral uh, standing than the current prime minister. So I don't I don't actually think we have to worry too much about what we wish for. I think most of the MPs in Parliament would actually be potentially an improvement. I do think that going back to your point, Jeremy, though, you know, it's a real shame, actually. And it, not what it says about the British political system, that we have to rely on a vengeful special advisor with their media contacts to hold a prime minister to account rather than the system more generally general elections and the fact that you know the public should be angry about a catalog of things over well the last i think the public should be angry to jump in very quickly that 100 people were at that party and nobody said anything in two goddamn years whilst we were all stay, you know we had to stay indoors that you know cummings might be a bitter and twisted human being but lots of people knew about this i i thank you both i think the most important thing to say to you is exactly what peter carwell said which is i think the next 24 or 48 hours are going to be very telling and we'll await more news but thank you for now alfie sterling alice